wind is calm, runway 28 right at intersection echo, flip take off. Our next stop traveling east is the small Queensland Opal town of Yaa, where we will stay for a couple of days. On the way we stop in at Dargomindar to fuel up and buy some much needed groceries. However, the price of produce out this way was so high, due to the remoteness of the town, that we decided to just make do with the provisions we still had in the RV. When we get to a bigger town, not so far out of the way, we will replenish our food supplies. Since we last visited this town in 2019, the town council have commissioned a number of art murals around the main street. The artwork is quite striking and definitely has enhanced the streetscape. But unfortunately, the camping area set aside just outside the town is quite poor compared to what other towns have put in place and we ignored the boast on this sign and moved on further east to Yaa. This small settlement sits on a small opal mining field, which is located just outside the town. Like Dargo Mindar, this town has established an RV camping area in the heart of the town, offering flushing toilets, hot showers, drinking water and a dump point, all for just whatever you wish to donate. Well done! The town water supply is sourced from the artesian bore that taps into the underground water reservoir. The water is naturally hot and has a somewhat strong sulfur smell, but after it is treated it is quite okay to drink. In years past, people were able to take a bath in the naturally hot water, but it has obviously been quite some time since anyone has had a good soak in these bathtubs. The water is allowed to run through the heart of the town via a small creek that you can walk along, and it was very interesting to find small fish swimming around in the channel. Walking around the town you see that most residences are quite basic, with little effort shown to the aesthetics. The front doors and gates seem to be out of place compared to the rest of the abode, which has been constructed out of tin sheeting. Earl 
old abandoned cars and machinery are sprinkled around the town, but there has been somewhat of a token effort to try to improve their appearance, with plants being grown in some of the rusting vehicle bodies. After two days here, we move on further east again to a place I camped at last year, situated between Yulo and Kunamala, called the Padabila Bor. We shared this spot with around three to four other travelers, who sprinkled themselves around the area, and we had a very relaxing couple of days just lounging around. This spot would be the last camping we would do in Queensland, as we were heading off tomorrow for Kunamala, and from there it would be only a short couple of hours drive south to where we would cross the state border into New South Wales. After reaching New South Wales, we took a day tour off a beaten track to a spot on the Darling River, just 12 kilometers north of the town of Burke called Mary's Bend. Leaving the sealed road, we first traversed a corrugated gravel road for about three clicks and then pick our way through a further two k's of dirt track to where we intended to camp. The Darling was, and still is, but to a lesser degree, in flood due to the heavy rains experienced a few months ago. The last few hundred meters to the river bank were very wet and muddy and we decided to not push our luck and try to get to the river's edge as there was one section that was all but impassable. Just as we arrived, another rig had got bogged in this section and had to be winched out by another guy in his four-wheel drive. Seeing this cemented our decision to stay where we were, safe and dry on firm ground. The river was still flooding over its banks and inundating the surrounding land, giving the river gums plenty of water to suck up. We kept a watch on the weather forecast while camped here as this is all black soil which will quickly turn to impassable mud if it gets rained on. We spent two days here, catching up on some bread and cake baking over the campfire before we navigated our way back out to the highway and further south towards home. <laughs> 